and now what we're going to do is click here again just after that effect's finished and we'll put the repeat Y this time up to put it up to n 9 even and it'll start there you see there but once again you can just move it across so you move it over there then back over to end the effect and then another thing you can actually do is if you if you click straight after and you don't want the effect just to just disappear there if you just increase the size if you click just after that effect and you increase the size then it'll just go the effect will zoom out so if we do that I'm just going to quickly do that for the others so where's that end zoom in if you need to which I do Okay, so we'll just do it for the X one then. Sorry, I, I was quiet there for a while, I was just looking at something. So that's where that one starts. So we'll just quit there and we'll just in after that keyframe and just increase the size there. So right, now what you're gonna do is click off that and what we can do now is we can actually if we just watch that tree quickly. You'll see the cookie cut move up and down, and then there'll just be some random effects there, and then that'll move side to side. So now what we can actually do is we can actually put effects to on it. So a uh, one I like quite like is you go on video effects, and you can go down to. Can I have a nightmare because right? I'm not gonna be able to find it. Uh, come on. Not gonna be able to find it, but anyway, you can just do. Ah, oh, there we go. I quite like using the night vision effect. So if you drag that effect onto the one below, if we now watch it, you see that effect happen. You can move it up and down like that, and side to side. You can almost uh, drag a lot of color effects and things into this just to make it work like that. So if you try, uh, I know we'll try and go on just uh, the overexposed one and then we'll have a look at that that's with the night vision on as well and that's made quite a nice effect so that's a good idea to use that one right and basically you can just drag any colors in you want to make that effect and you can do anything you want with a cookie cutter effect so uh hope you found this tutorial useful